Business is booming for this clothing assembly factory located in the central Mexican state of Puebla. Its exports are made possible by the North American Free Trade Agreement. The fast-moving fashion industry in the United States is what makes success possible for this factory. Every month, they can produce 100,000 pieces of clothing and export them directly to stores in Los Angeles, New York, and Houston. The company is called Contecciones de Punta. Jose Luis Hatchety is the CEO, and for nearly 35 years, he's been a leader in North America's clothing production industry. When NAFTA came into effect, we did not have to go to the U.S. and make sales. Instead, U.S. clothing industry leaders came looking for us. Hatchety knows that many small and medium-sized Mexican businesses fear that the end of NAFTA is near. He says even if the U.S. withdraws from the trade deal, geographic proximity to the U.S. gives Mexico an unbeatable advantage. We are more efficient when it comes to logistics because we are delivering our products within three weeks. No other country, not even Asian ones, can do that. Nowadays, that is crucial in the fast-paced fashion industry, where designs change from one month to the next. We are able to keep up with those changes. That's a really Trade expert Luz Maria de la Mora was among Mexico's original team of NAFTA negotiators in the mid-1990s. She knows U.S. President Donald Trump opposes NAFTA because he believes it created a trade deficit with Mexico. But she says that view is short-sighted. Overall, let's say that tomorrow, um, President Trump, by his policies, he would eliminate completely the trade deficit with Mexico. The trade deficit would increase with another country. Because there is an appetite in the U.S., there is a need in the U.S. to have these kinds of imports. Mexican clothing makers say half a million textile jobs could depend on the outcome of the NAFTA renegotiations. So Mexican textile factory owners are working quickly to find new markets in case the U.S. raises import duties. And they've been lobbying the U.S. and Mexican governments in an effort to make certain that this tag is still widely available in stores all across North America. Frank Contreras, CGTN. Puebla, Mexico.